Now, more than ever, the world looks to photovoltaic power generation, and monocrystalline silicon solar cells are an integral part of generating that power. Linton Technology Group is an expert in intelligent manufacturing solutions for monocrystalline silicon wafers. Based on an intelligent solution involving the whole ingot to wafer process, Linton helps customers achieve mechanical automation and intelligent logistics solutions in each step of the process. A silicon ingot is grown in the CZ furnace, removed automatically and placed on the buffer rack. An automatic guided vehicle carries the ingot to the cutting and feeding positions. A truss robot takes it for first line identification. Machine intelligence controls the truss movement per the ingot dimensions, placing the ingot on the multi-wire saw's buffer table. The buffer table loads the ingot for processing. After cropping, the truss robot picks up the ingot segments from the buffer table. The segments are moved to the coating station for laser coating. Then, the segments are transported to the test station by the roller bed where the segments are tested for resistance and minority carrier lifetimes. After characterization, the AGV transports the segments to the squaring and polishing island for further processing. A six-axis robot is used to load and unload the squaring machine. After it loads the segments onto the squaring machine, the robot will remove the squared block and place it on the buffering table of the grinding and polishing machine. Once grinding and polishing is complete, the robot puts it on the transport to the next station, where the blocks are cleaned and visually inspected. All inspected blocks are placed on the buffering platform. Blocks are then placed into the warehouse according to their identifying characteristics. Blocks are brought out of storage based on production demands. Wafering from blocks comprises three major processes, bonding, slicing, and degluing slash washing. Crystal supports are taken from a separate warehouse and transported to the bonding area. The crystal supports are loaded on the feeding roller bed. The bonding machine's feeding manipulator selects the board, places it on the glued crystal support, then presses it with a pressing block. After the support and board are bonded, the manipulator transports the pressing block to the recirculation roller bed for reuse. The board assembly is re-glued and the ingot block is placed on it. The block is held in place with another pressing block where the adhesive cures. The pressing block is removed and recirculated. The now bonded block is placed in another warehouse for it to finish curing. Once cured, the bonded block is taken to a roller bed. Blocks of different sizes can be matched to individual wire saws based on the saw's setup. The truss manipulator picks up the bonded block and brings it to the appropriate wire saw for slicing.
After slicing, the bonded wafers are carried to the unloading position. A rail robot takes the bonded wafer assembly to the degluing area. In this area, the wafers are removed from the bonding board by the degluing machine and sent to a washing station where wafers are cleaned individually. Then, they can be sorted and packaged. Linton's intelligent manufacturing solutions can reduce your labor costs, increase throughput, and help you gain a competitive edge. The future is now.